Hey guys, welcome to the next Smoke and Flame quick tip. Now this one's going to be in response to a lot of uh, res uh, feedback I got when I did the recursive ops tutorial um, for creating clean plates. And I got a lot of, of questions on people asking what other uses the recursive ops had. So this is a response and um, this, uh, this tutorial in, in particular is going to be showing uh, painting with light. So I guess an emulation of the popular uh, long exposure technique used with uh, uh, DSLRs and uh, stills. So I've got three clips I'm going to show. Um, the first one, if I scrub through, you see I've just shot a room with minimal light and just shined a flashlight um, uh, all over. Um, tried to spread it as much as I could. And um, you'll see using recursive ops, we can um, effectively paint light in and um, get a pretty uh, cool result. So I'm just going to go effects, create connect effects for this one. And I'm just going to press R and grab recursive ops and shift, drop him in, double click. And again, turn off all the defaults and change it from average to max lighten. Now I'm going to go to my first frame and just change this to frames. And I know that that needs to be 730. So I'm going to go to range and press 730. And I'm just going to press play. And the first thing you see is it, it does a really, really cool thing. And it's, um, it's doing exactly what we want. It's painting in light. So again, this is um, completely up to your imagination with this, which is the cool thing about it. If we let this play through, you see it's picking up all the highlights. And the really cool thing is it's not, nothing's getting blown out um, because of, again, the uh, max lighting. But um, I hope this kind of triggers something in uh, your creativity of uh, practical uses for this. Again, this is kind of bare bones. You know, this is very, very much just a really kind of quick and nasty way of showing how you could use this. Um, again, you could use different colored lights, you could trigger lights. Um, this is just using a really, really crappy flashlight. So again, you could um, get some really interesting results just uh, painting this uh, your own way. So I'll let that finish. And you see it's painted a lot of the room uh, in um, just with the flashlight, again, just using the uh, the max light and through recursive ops. And um, if I just press control G and on this side, control G and actually, yeah, you see it's lost it because I didn't actually mux it. So, and it's freaking out. So I'll give it one. All right. And I've had a crash. So for example, number two, I'm just going to jump over to my next guy. And this is, um, again, a, a really dark uh, room with no light and um, I'm just doing the same technique just uh, moving the flashlight around so I'm just gonna go to effects create connect effects and just press R grab recursive ops drop that in and again turn off all the defaults and turn off the blur and the color correction and I'm just gonna change this to max and I know that this is one five two six I'm just gonna go one five two six not that one five two six one five two six go back to start and go to alt one and f4 and i'm just going to go to fit and just press play and you'll see we get a really really interesting effect once it starts to build up again uh really really interesting and can be used in a number of ways the really interesting thing with this effect is um once the light kind of uh layers up we really cancel out all the really crappy low level noise that happens in this as well so I'll give it a sec. Um, you see some bits are blowing out as well. And um, that can be countered by just if we went to the blend and change it to about 80% 80, 80 transparency. Um, but you see just, just letting this play through, um, you can really do some cool techniques just painting in the, the light just using the flashlight using recursive ops. Um, of course, you guys will have access to this footage as well. Um, I'm just going to pause that one there because I think you get the gist. Um, and yeah, you see it, it does some, some cool stuff. Now, the last example is um, one that's more of a, I guess, a generic example, which is um, unfortunately me running in front of the camera and doing the lighter thing. So we're going to do the kind of painting with light. Like you, I guess there's lots of trap code, particular stuff that does this and emulates this. But the cool thing is this is uh, very much a, a real technique. So I'm just going to press T and trim this up to here and just hold down shift. And just frame this up and if I scrub through um, you see I've got to my import where I want it to be so I'm just gonna grab that and just go effects create connect effects and again I'm just gonna go R grab the recursive ops shift drop that in and go to alt 1 and f4 
and I'm just going to go to fit again, F4, and fit. And again, turn off the defaults, and change this to max. And I know I want this to go to 497, so 497. And it's going to jump back to the start, and press play. And it's freaking out. And you see, we get this very cool trails effect, which is what you would get with a long exposure camera. Um, very much emulating the light trails that you get. And um, again, this is one of many uses you can do, but you see we get some very, very cool light trails effects that um, would be really hard to kind of replicate uh, using, I guess, uh, tricks or plugins. Yeah, hopefully you guys uh, find these useful and um, stay tuned for more.